going through what I'm going through. You mm -hmm. came to plow. Oh, the way. thank you. Why every time I turn around, something's happening to me, and I can't seem to get out of what I'm in. You're paying for your ticket. Watch this here. Now I'm highly anointed by God, but I tell you what, I paid for it. Come on, come on, preacher. I wish I had that anointing, really. Are you willing to pay to fly the friendly skies? Are you willing to go through and nobody else is watching with you? Are you willing to lay there at night crying and God not answer your prayer? Are you willing to go through hell and high water to fly? But that's how you get the power of praise. But sometimes we want to praise Him when we get a good check unexpectedly. Come on. We want to praise God when unexpected blessings come. We want to give God a praise when good things happen. But we got to praise Him in season and out of season. In other words, can you praise me when you're completely broke? Not beg me, praise me. Come on, somebody. Uh, I learned something. I learned how to become. Listen, I learned how to budget money by being broke. See, 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 see. See, when you got a lot of money, you don't think about stuff. When you got a lot of money, you just go shopping and go buy the stuff. Listen, don't go to. Listen, that's why they tell you don't go shopping when you're hungry. Come on, bitch. Don't go to the grocery store when you're hungry. Because when you're hungry, you buy everything and say what you went for. That's why I hate Walmart. You go to Walmart to get one thing about a whole $100 later. And that's how it is sometimes when you go to church. You go for one thing about a whole lot of other problems. Yes. All right. All right. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I missed it. But the power of praise will keep you focused. Let me give you a few things. Listen, David said praise was continual. The praise is not conditional. It's just good at all times. You can't just praise him in conditions when the conditions are favorable. You praise him all time. Yeah. Our praise stays consistent through all times. Praise keeps us sane. All right. Praise keeps us sane. Yeah. In other words, praise keeps you in the right frame of mind. Yeah. You ought to hear what I'm saying. That's why Satan does not want you to praise God because if you praise God, you won't be crazy. Sometimes situations will throw you off because you get caught up in them. When you praise God, it will keep you in perfect peace. Yes. That's why your praise is so powerful. Listen here. The power of praise has kept us going. And it will keep us going. Why? Because the word of God says in all things, give praise. Yes. All things work together for giving that love the Lord and a call according to his purpose. But you're called through your praise. How many of be honest says some of you wouldn't even pray unless someone went through unless, unless, unless you went through something? Come on. Let's be honest. We wouldn't pray unless we went through something. That's true. When not, when all is well, do you pray like you do when all is not well? Come on, preacher. Let's stop and think about this for a minute. Some of y'all are just I, I lost you like mm. I made you mad. I'm looking at your faces. You know, tell the truth. See, you give God praise when all is well, but what about with somebody? Yeah. 